to another episode of Community Lens. I am Erica Jones. I am the Director of Membership and Outreach here at Somerville Media Center. We are joined in the studio today with some wonderful guests who are going to be uh, talking a bit about the annual celebration of food and beverage here in Somerville, uh, the Taste of Somerville event, and that is happening next week. And I am super excited to attend it, and I hope that you also are. So. Hello, uh, Mr. Morgan Bigley from General Manager of Highland Kitchen. Thank yeah, you for thanks joining. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And Carolyn Guffey, the Executive Director of the Walnut Street Center. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Um, so for those who might not know about the Taste of Somerville, um, what is that like? What is the excited elevator pitch that you'd want to like let folks out there know about? Why should they come out to this event? Uh, I mean, really, it's, it's a great opportunity to get a feel for all the different things that Somerville has to offer uh, all in one place. So it's from it's from 5 to 8 p.m. Uh, on Wednesday, June 13th. And in those three hours, um, we have lots of great restaurants from Somerville, breweries, uh, uh, cider. So we're going to have some live musicians. There's going to be an artist there doing some really cool kind of live demonstrations. So really, you know, it's from 5 to 8 p.m. on June 13th, but in those three hours, you really get a chance to see a little of everything that Somerville has to offer right now. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, what about, I mean, you obviously both have been to the event in past years. Um, what were some things that you kind of were, like, surprised by or some food that you might recall or even just, like, entertainment aspect to it? Well... So I'm the chair of the event, so I never get to eat any food for oh, the whole no. time because <laughs> I'm running around. Um, That's fair. Yeah, but I don't know, organizer. Carolyn, if you had any any favorites from last year. Yeah, I think that um, I heard m multiple people came and said how cool it was that the high school did a really cool oh, ice yeah. sculpture. Mm -hmm. And then people were trying to guess as the night went on what it was going to turn out to oh, be. And I think it was a martini glass and <laughs> there were a few different things. So that was really cool. So obviously this is, um, you know, uh, exploring the the nightlife and the dining scene of Somerville which is awesome because it really has been just exploding over the last you know handful of years of new uh, restaurants and breweries and cider places and stuff coming into the city uh, which is obviously great for economic growth <laughs> um, when said and done wh where where you know who would be benefiting from the proceeds of this org of this event so Walnut Street Center is the benefactor and we're extremely grateful for that we're a small human service nonprofit so we don't get to be involved in um, a lot of big events. This mm -hmm. is probably the biggest event we'll have all year. And we're going to um, get the net proceeds, and we'll be using that for things that aren't funded through the state. Mm -hmm. So our annual Fourth of July picnic, scholarships for folks that we support to go on vacation or even to participate in a trip to a museum into Boston. So we're really grateful to be a part of it, and um, it's a great opportunity for us to continue to be involved in the community. Our folks come out, we volunteer, mm -hmm. we sell raffle tickets, we eat, we drink, we Absolutely. have fun. So we're really excited about it. Cool. Um, do you want to talk a little bit more about what is the Walnut Street Center? Because I, um, I think that the Somerville community here loves getting out and supporting um, you know, the different events that exist, but especially knowing that it's going towards um, the good of a really awesome resource here um, that serves the Somerville community. So why don't you talk a little more about what is the organization? Sure. We're a small um, human service agency. Been in Somerville since the late 60s, early 70s. Um, we have about 10 homes in the Somerville area and we support 60 people. Um, they're adults over the age of 22 living with intellectual disabilities. So we're very excited about the work we do and um, that Somerville has really opened their arms to us throughout the years. Oh, that's great. Um, to know that you've been around since the 60s is just absolutely really impressive. <laughs> <laughs> um, I imagine that there's a lot of um, great impact that you um, have you know, done over the years. So um, all more of the reason for people to come out and uh, you know, drink and eat in honor of supporting the Walnut Street Center. 
Um, is there anything else that you'd want to pitch for folks to know about the Taste of Somerville event that's happening? Well, I mean, I think just to touch on what you just said, it, it, it is a great opportunity to, to eat, to drink. There's live music. It's in uh, Nathan Tufts Park, also known as Powderhouse Park, which is just a really beautiful venue. Mm -hmm. So it's a great evening outside in the summer while also, you know, helping fund the Walnut Street right. Center, which really I feel like ties it into this being a kind of a community event for Somerville, right. showcasing all the small businesses, some musicians and artists, and then also giving back to the community at the same time. Awesome. Um, and what is the website that folks can get more information on? Uh, Tasteofsomerville.org. Excellent. And how many and how many vendors are we looking at for this one? Uh, we're still finalizing the numbers, but I'd say all told something around 60. Okay. Um, restaurants, breweries, cider, wine. Um, yeah, and roughly in the in the 60 area. So you definitely, you know, you get your money's worth oh, for the ticket. Oh, yeah. Hands down. I've gone to it a lot over the late, over the year since I've been here. And when I first moved here, I was actually like really encouraged to go to two things, Taste of Somerville and the Fluff Festival. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, these are like, you know, staple events that are happening here in the community. Yeah. So um, thank you so much for being like the spearheaders behind uh, the event. Um, obviously, you know, your team's doing a lot to help during the event as well. And Maureen, you're one person operation. <laughs> <laughs> it gets um, a little daunting sometimes, but it's worth it. But you it. know what? You're, you keep coming back. So you're setting yourself up. <laughs> Um, very cool. So thank you so much for, for joining us today or for joining me today <laughs> in the studio. Um, Tasteofsummerville.org. Yep. Um, all the information is on the screen. And uh, get out there, um, support the Somerville businesses, and also as a result, you'll be supporting the Walnut Street Center, which is a really important organization. And their information is also on the screen. And uh, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.